Hi, betting experts. On Wednesday, the 27th of March, we're off to Somerset to win Canton on Wednesday. A really cracking card. The ground, well, it's dried out. It was good to soft at the time of recording. Um, perhaps they'll get some rain, though, to ease things back. It's been pretty heavy in testing, unusually for most of the winter down there, but usually it's all about speed at this time of year. We start off with our betting expert, Daily Nap, sponsored by Bet365. This goes in the three o'clock. It's a handicap chase over two mile, four furlongs. Um, a good contest. There's some interesting and consistent horses. I think Gary Moore's Abingworth can strike. Now, Gary going well as usual in a variety of codes, flat and jumps, three winners in the last 14 days. Abingworth is a quirky sort, but he's improving run to run. He's run five times over fences so far. One win, I thought he ran and really well at Hereford last time out when I didn't think he necessarily looked at ease on the track under an unusually patient ride but he got into contention quite strongly and then just got picked off by Chancer Tune who's a fairly reliable chaser of Nigel Twist and Davis I think there's more to come from Abinworth he's only run five times over fences I suspect he will relish this spring ground he's got David Noonan booked who knows his quirks well and he seems sure to go extremely close with any luck in running our betting expert value angle selection sponsored by bet365 goes in the 330 this is a cracking mare's handicap hurdle over three miles there's 16 grand's worth of prize money as you'd expect they've attracted a good field a lot of the top yards rec uh, represented here but i think fortuna ligna is the one to side with here for the anthony honeyball yard now anthony a trainer i really like it had to be said he'd had a quiet few weeks but they had a good winner at ascot on sunday with sam brown and i think the spring they usually kick into gear fortuna lena well she's only won one from 10 over hurdles she's another one who's a bit quirky but she's run well on every occasion this season five times she's been to the track she's not started bigger than eight to one on any occasion the punters have yet to draw i thought she ran an absolute screamer behind gay legacy at newbury a couple of starts back that's probably the best form on offer here and she's extremely well treated last time out i don't think she was seen to maximum effect from off the pace just sticking on one pace you've got Cobden up this afternoon he's been booked chasing down the championship that's the first time he's been on this mare all season I think it's a big plus she's liable to get a much more positive ride at this sharp track she stays well lacks a turn of foot I think she'll be bang there and hopefully she can see these off best of luck on Wednesday betting experts and please remember to like and comment on all of our YouTube videos